Hi and welcome to another Staying Geek video. It's Dave. This week what we're covering is a review of a £1,000, yes £1,000 folding e-bike available here in the UK. What we'll do in the next few minutes is take you through the pros and the cons and some little things we've learnt from riding it. Here we go. So this here is the Michael. It's a new brand in the UK. I have seen very similar bikes to this in London with a different brand name. But this is Michael's version of this bike made in China. What it has is a battery in the seat tube and it's got a Bafang motor. Interesting if you YouTube these and do a search of Bafangs and people doing tweaks to them, obviously on private roads. This is currently limited, this bike to um, 25 kilometers an hour which is the UK legal you see it's got Shimano tawny gears uh, so it's a thousand pound so clearly it's not gonna have super duper it's got a luggage rack on the back mud guards as standard what you've got also is very boxy bottom bracket there is some weight in this you can see the welds that it is it is a weighty object just to Show you, we switch this thing on. What he's got several motor speeds one, two, three, four, four, five. What you can do is if you keep five pressed down, what that will then do, you see a light sign. It's a very sunny day here. But you can see, well, you probably can't see very well on my hand there. You see the light comes on. And what you can then do is go down the numbers again and if you press this bottom button down again it puts the bike whoop, because it whizzes off it puts the bike in assist mode and what that is to assist you to push it along easier so there we go switched it off so what the features is this is this bike got it's uh, got a nice little folding mechanism, very easy to use. So what you've got is a bit of a safety clip here. I say bit, a lot of a safety clip. A safety clip that goes across, and then you just unclip these here. The same on the main frame bit, unclip that top bit. Then literally you just unfold your catch. Simple as that. And then the pedals, I've used the Brompton in the past and the pedals were a pain to fold it on that. Very easy to fold and unfold, literally just push them in, fold them in. So your standard gear on this is all right. The saddle, I've got it on max being 6.6, six. it's just slightly too short for me. Um, but you know, you, you can't accept too much, not folding in properly, either. you can't accept too much at a thousand pound for an e-bike. Lovely saddle. If you look at the design of this, it looks like a Morgan motor car. So it looks very nice, actually. It's a, a lovely looking thing. Yeah, for any of you spotted in need to adjust the saddle. So that's it. What, one thing they could improve on this, you can see you've got disc brakes as well. That's not an improvement, that's a good thing. It's got cable disc brakes, stops the thing easy. Um, tires, pretty decent tires. What it's got, you notice what you'll have to do with this, I think, is an improvement straight away. Take these out, um, go to a bike shop, get yourself some inner tubes with a removable core valve and let's say a mock-off or Hutchinson kit and put in um, some sealant in your inner tubes because when you're commuting, you don't want to have to stop and repair a puncture or push your bike all the way and get weight to work or whatever. This would massively improve this experience. We haven't had a puncture so far, I've done quite a few miles in it, but you know, it just takes that risk away. These are pretty solid things. Obviously not super low rolling resistance tires, but they're good for the job, very grippy, skipped along, gone around a very steep hill down here, and it's it's felt pretty stable. That's the Michael so far. With a bell. Back to my point earlier about using um, tubeless or tubed, I should say, puncture resistant. You, know, you put the milky stuff in. Oh, there we go. Invaded by a dog. Say hello. This is this is Jasper. Hello, Jasper. What do you think for the Michael bike? 
you can't quite fit on it. Something you'll notice here is this, which is a magnet. So when the bike folds, those click together very solidly. As you can see, you can see this on other bikes. We have a similar system to this on the Garon, the Garonny. Now, that fits in there and it was bolted on and through just use on and off trains in and out the boot of the car. That is gone, so that needs fixing. Something else we've noticed when we were using the bike is the bars did get a little bit uh, wobbly, shall we say, and that just was sorted out very quickly. That was sorted out very quickly by adjusting dog toy the back by adjusting these here. Very simply done. Well done. That's easy. You can adjust the handlebars in the normal manner. Very easy to do. On the saddle front. So on the saddle front, clearly this battery here, the lipo battery in the seat post can be locked in place but there's a key that I would need to undo that hence that there uh, there's a key that's in another pair of trousers and that locks this in place so that can't go and what we can do just zoom in out so to just to adjust the saddle literally you undo the clip and you can slide the saddle all the way down so for shorter people see it's very small and for people like me you can get up high yes that saddle does need that saddle does need leveling you've bought your michael you get to your destination and you want to fold it up or to store it easy to do i showed you earlier you fold in the pedals you undo the bars first pull the slider to one side Drop the bars down, move this catch off, get to the stand, fold it over. Now, as far as lifting it goes, this is a heavy tank, probably the whole, the, the heaviest bike we've ever tested. My recommendation for moving this around, fold it up, do that again. So you see, I'm potting the body, yeah, self-operated cameraman at the moment, fold it all up. But if you try and push it, you need it in assist mode, and it is harder to push along it. Other electronic folding bikes that we've used before, if you pick it up folded, it's blinking heavy. Seriously consider using a bungee spring for keeping it clipped together, such as the weight of the bike, the magnets aren't really enough. What I recommend, clipping it back together just quickly, is what you do up and down railway steps for example is just pick it up there use this as a counterbalance maybe put your saddle on your arm it's pretty easy that way it's heavy it really is heavy so just like anything in the cycling world the larger it is the more it costs so what you've got is you've got a heavy frame with an electric bike so the two things added together means a pretty he pretty heavy tank however what that electric bike means is you don't have to put in much effort with anything at all to keep it moving. Here I am, Derbyshire Lanes, pedalling under my own power on the Michael on number five, doing about 20 kilometers an hour. So you can see I'm not huffing and puffing. Now, with this bike, if I give it loads of stick, it will still do about the same speed or slightly more, but I'll be huffing and puffing and sweating. Now, if I was on a normal bike, for the same effort, if I was huffing and puffing and sweating, I am quite sure, particularly my light Scott foil, I'd be whizzing and skipping up here. But that's not the point, these are for bikes, these bikes are for people who want to cycle around just enjoying themselves and to get to the destination, as I keep saying, wearing the clothing that they're meant to and not covered in sweat. So they're not for people who are rushing around or are desperate to get to the calf to consume the same amount in spend as they would have spent on fuel if they'd driven to the to the calf. 
So this is the whole point with these bikes, is just to poodle around. So yeah, I'm sunny day. Just realized the UV isn't that high today, actually, according to my Apple Watch. Well, the UV isn't very high today because my Apple Watch, but I haven't got sun cream on, which isn't good. But anyway, so here we are. And you can hear the bike probably whizzing around. So it's, it's dead easy. I'm doing 25 kilometers an hour now, the maximum speed, not really trying. So I want to go somewhere and visit somebody and can park up. So it's not about losing stacks of calories and stuff like that. Now on my experiments, when I rode from Canary Wharf to Euston Station, about half an hour ride through London, using the cycle lanes there, everything was going past me. The delivery riders on hacked electric motors doing 25, 30 mile an hour, electric scooters and all sorts. But that's not the point. If I, well, I tried to give it loads of stick, check my heart rate, and I was doing probably zone two for those uh, people into fitness will know. And that's not the point. If I'd have eased off and not tried to keep up with those people, I would have been doing roughly the same speed and not sweating. So that's the point. And the other point is these Loomis helmets, they're a bit odd, but that's another review. In summary, thousand quid. You might have to get your Allen keys out and just tighten a few things up as I did. You get a baseball cap with it, you get a charger, you get a bag, you get some tools and you get instructions. So this Michael, folding bike, thousand pound, blooming heavy, needs something in the tires just in case we're in the inner tubes, just in case you ever get a puncture. And that's about it. So if you've got a little bit of strength, you can pick it up and look it around. And you're looking for an e-bike, it doesn't cost you a lot. Maybe this is the one for you. Thank you for watching this detaining geek video. He says, try not to crash. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff, all helps. If you want more of this stuff, let us know. Better find out about other stuff, let us know. And coming up, Lots of other good stuff. Cheers now, bye.